हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल प्लेनेट फॉर टेक आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट एंड एंजॉइंग लॉर्ड्स बाय वाचिंग ऑल द कंटिन्यूअस एपिसोड ऑफ दिस सीरीज लारा विल बिगिनर टू मास्टर सो गाइस टिल नाउ वी हैव कंप्लीटेड 14th एपिसोड ऑफ दिस सीरीज एंड टुडे इन द 15th एपिसोड आई एम गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू द सेशन कस्टम लॉगिन एंड रजिस्ट्रेशन पेज सो हियर दिस इज द पार्ट 3 और दिस यू कैन सी द दिस इज द फाइनल episode here we are going to conclude that custom login and registration so let's start so till now we have already gone through few of the parts like we have created the login page we have created the register page and model and controller this all we have done already in the episode 14 we have seen like how we can create the register module now in this episode we are going to conclude it with the login module as well so let's start it so you can see uh, so this is our login uh, view file we have already created in a episode 14 going to continue that again so here you can see uh, we have this email and this password so we can apply here the validation the first if directly we are going to check it so here we have to check errors has this particular name or not if it is so simply give class and here we can print the error with the help of first method there and we have to pass the email key here so this way let me reduce the font first because it is just taking more space yes now you can see the same thing we have to apply for password as well to see the validation message related to the password if there are some messages so it will show here now i am going to have the route so as in the last episode i have already discussed uh, told you for every form submit we need one csrf validation csrf protection security you can say csrf this is cross site forgery attack we have to avoid and in the method we have to give post and there should be one action so in the action we are going to have uh, the route name so this route we are going to have you can say validate login whatever you want you can give as per your convenience so going to create one route there in the route.web.php file for this purpose login post method so going to copy this same existing one itself and uh, the name should be what validate login here i am going to uh, call this uh, method validate login whatever method name you want you can create it it is not it uh, required so this is for login route this is for register route so once this route will come so it will check for the validate login method now going to the val create this validate login method in this controller so you can see here so this are already previous one we have created so this one we don't need now let me create the validate login just below to this here so function validate login and here we are going to follow the same approach what we have done here in this register validation so firstly we will check the validation then after we will perform the database operation then after we have to redirect the user to the particular 
route so the same thing we are going to follow here so for the validation i'm just copy that code here so we need a request object you can see so here we need name and email only we uh, we don't need the name we need the email and the password and we don't need to check the users is are unique or not because we are not going to register it anymore this page so once the validation is done we are going to check the credentials is working or not properly so for that we are going to create credential so this uh, standard we are following because we are using the laravel auth method so let me use here laravel auth library so this class only we are going to use for the authentication purpose that is why we are following this credential approach so there it is not that much tough only you have to follow the sequence what i am going to describe you so these credentials we have to pass so we are going to take only two fields we don't know uh, we are not worry about like how many fields are coming with this request we only want two fields laravel wants only two fields for the authentication purpose one is email and another is password so these fields we are going to pass to this particular credentials once it is there so we are going to check it whether this is valid or not so here we have to check auth and attempt method we have to pass and we have to pass this credential here if authentication is done properly so it is login otherwise it will show you the message so that message if it is login successfully so we can redirect the user to the dashboard page return redirect and this way you can pass dashboard dashboard route we just added here now if it is not valid so definitely there is some error so that error we have to show here return redirect so we have to go to the login page and we need some message so you can have with errors as well so here you have to give errors and the message invalid login details you can pass like that so we are going to send the new message of type errors so this message we have to catch in the login view so going to show you how we can do this so previously we have done the same for success message now we are going to repeat the same process for error message as well if there are some errors so it will come here and uh, you can see call it error not errors so simply you have to use it here errors and here we can change the class danger or you can make it errors as well both are same it's up to you because it's a custom key whatever we are passing from here but this key must be similar here we have errors so here also we will have the errors only now see is it working or not let me show you but before moving ahead we need this route as well so we will create it once login so let me show you the login is working properly or not here so in the last episode we have created the user ramesh at gmail.com the password was one two three four five six but i'm going to give wrong password just to see the messages are coming or not so it is saying too many redirects let me see yes here we have the same thing two times so we have to make it post instead of the gate that is why it is giving the error now let's see this time it should work properly so it is saying like the password must not be greater than eight characters 
so this one we have to fix it first so this is the validation message coming now let's fix it and the password is one two three four five six so you can see the login is done but it is redirected to the dashboard page and it is showing 404 not found this is because we have not created any route for this dashboard now let's create the route for this dashboard as well so going to do that so for that what we need to do in the web.php route file we have to create one more entry for dashboard so here we are going to create you one more entry for route dashboard so definitely first time it will be get method because we are going to view the page so it is going to call the dashboard method of the this method so in in this controller so in this controller we are going to create another method that is dashboard method so let me create it there so here i am going to create that dashboard and for that dashboard we are going to have another file so let me have dashboard folder in that i am going to create one index file this way now going to create one view inside the dashboard folder index file so that we can do it here so you can see so this is the uh, these files are related to the auth that is why it is under the auth folder now going to create another folder for dashboard purpose so uh, this uh, the fol following this uh, way of organization files is not yet required but after having 10 years of experience this is the uh, proper uh, way of organizing the files that i am going to share with you by this episode of series now so here i am going to create the folder dashboard because guys uh, doing thing is okay but doing thing on the right way is always recommended so that is why we are following the right approach only so in the dashboard folder we are going to create another file that is nothing but the index file so we can copy the existing one itself here in the dashboard we just copied it now we have to change its content so let me remove this login form from the dashboard oh sorry this is this should be index not the login so from this index we don't need this form because this is the dashboard page so it's for simplicity i made it blank like this and uh, instead of this i am going to give the hello message like uh, let me make h2 here i am going to give the hello message auth user name so it will show the logged in username there now we can see is it working or not so you can see here it is showing the higher image but one thing guys you have noticed here so we have logged in then why this options are showing there this should not show instead of this there should be one logout link but it is showing the login and register so how we can overcome this issue so to overcome this issue we have to apply one if else condition to this links so these links are here in the layout file we have created last time so going to show you that so this is the main dot blade template so here we have created that layout now in the layout we are going to check the user is logged in or not so for the guest user means they are not logged in so for the guest user we have to show both the link login and registered but for the registered user we have to show the logout link so how we can do that for that there is another directive directory in this blade template that i am going to use 
so here i am going to check the user is guest or not if it is guest otherwise else condition we can pass if it is not guest guest means the user is not at logged in so this will come here and uh, if the user is logged in so definitely it will come here in this uh, case so if the user is not logged in so he or she will be able to see login and register otherwise uh, logout link should display there so going to have the logout route again so created one uh, here you can see i added one more route that is logout so for this i am going to add one entry in the route web.php web.php so in that web.php going to add one more route for logout purpose so you can see here so this way we can create one more route so this is for logout purpose so on the logout we have to uh, call this logout method of this controller so in this controller we need to create one more method that is for logout purpose so in this method we are going to destroy the session whatever we have created and after that we have to log out uh, the user and we have to redirect the user to the login page again so to destroy the session let me have the there is one uh, method for destroying the session let me check so that is the logout method only auth logout so this method you have to call and after that redirect the user redirect the user to the login method originally so it will redirect the user to the login method but apart from this we have to apply one security to the dashboard route because if the user is not logged in then that user must not be able to log in to, uh, access this page so for that we have to apply one restriction here so to restrict to check the user is logged in or not we can call auth method there is a one check method so it will check like the user is authenticated or not if user is authenticated then only uh, they can access the dashboard route otherwise not so else for else condition we have to write return redirect login and we have to give the message with error you can say you are not allowed to access this page before logged in so this message we have passed it so guys you can see here so this second return will work only if you have not authorized user so first time it will check if you are authorized then it will show you the dashboard page otherwise if this is not satisfied so you will come to this line and it will redirect you back to the login route now going to show you these all one by one let's see how it is working so guys you can see it is showing this error because we don't have the route name so for this we just added this here logout name in the route now let's see is it working or not so you can see here we are logged in that is why it is showing the logout now going logout so it is logout and if after the logout if you are trying to access the dashboard so what it is doing here you can see it is not allowing you to access the dashboard page because you are not authorized but we have to check why that message is not so we have missed here it should be errors so now you can see if you are not logged in and you want to access this dashboard so it will get this error message again it is showing some yes guys you can see it is showing this way 
message let's suppose if you are not logged in and you want to access the dashboard page so it is showing you this message you are not allowed to access this page before logged in now you can see in the top it is showing the two links here login and register because this is not a logged in user it is a guest user now let me show you after login that link is being changed or not so username is ramesh at gmail.com password 123456 now going to do check so you can see here now it is logged in and the menu is also changed here so this all is working properly after logout it is coming here and if we are trying to log in we are not able to see so if we are doing the back so it is again moving you forward to this page so for this guys uh, for this episode you can see here we have concluded the login log login logout and register and the dashboard module so till now we have completed the complete flow for login register and login register and uh, you can say logout and dashboard even though i have we have completed the uh, menu navigation how we can show uh, login and register for authorized user and uh, logout uh, register uh, logout menu for authorized and uh, login and register for guest user so this way guys you have to uh, com uh, you have to practice here and you have to try this from your end and uh, Thank you.